All right, gonna make this long overdue video finally, and uh, gonna discuss what I use for catching catfish. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about this stuff, and it's about time I you know get this video out. I'm gonna make a little disclaimer also. Before I dive into things, I just want to say I'm not really a, a gear-oriented kind of person, as you can probably tell. And that's why I don't make many videos like this. I figured, though, with as many people as I have asking that I might as well put something out about this stuff. But the reason why I don't focus on this stuff particularly is because this isn't ultimately what um, you know gives you success over in the long run. You could have the nicest gear, but that doesn't mean you're going to catch anything. Um, and that's why I don't try and focus on this stuff so much. And I find it particularly annoying these days about, you know, so many other fishermen, you know, advertising that their rods are what catches fish and you can only use that or this. And they're just kind of shoving all kinds of merchandise down our throats that, you know, isn't necessary at all to catch fish. And it's very misleading. All this stuff, especially to a beginner, I highly recommend that you don't buy any of this stuff because for one, it's expensive. And two... There's a lot cheaper equipment that will do the job just the same. You can learn like I did on cheaper equipment and then and then upgrade to stuff like this later on. Like I said, it's not essential that you have any of this stuff. This is just my personal preference and what works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. All right, that being said, we'll start off with what I take with me when I go catfishing. My main objective is to be as light as possible. I don't want to carry anything I don't have to. I carry one, maybe two rods when I go fishing. And then I carry my backpack with my rod holders and other hooks and such in the backpack. And then a cooler with some bait in it. And that is just about it. I don't, I don't carry anything else because I like to remain as agile and mobile as possible. I see a lot of cat fishermen... You know, bank, bank fishermen, especially, you know, they get loaded up to go fishing and they have so much stuff, so many different pieces of equipment that may be advertised to make their life easier, but it's, 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 it's not. <laughs> With all that stuff, I, I just don't, that's not me. I, I, I like to remain as mobile as possible. So that's why I don't carry too much. So first things first, we'll get into uh, my backpack. This is like a 20 30 dollar like survival backpack from walmart nothing special about it at all i really like it because it's just kind of rugged overall but but it's also got these uh straps too that hold my rod holders in them i like that a lot because then i can just quickly stow them there when i'm getting ready to move yeah i just keep my hooks and swivels and stuff in there and knives and what have you and then water bottle and you know try and keep it as lightweight as possible sometimes i'm making you know two, three mile trips just to get to a location. And it's really gonna wear on you if you're carrying a bunch of stuff that isn't, you know, completely necessary to catch fish. So that's why I try and travel as light as possible. Getting into the rod holders. I've had a lot of people ask me about these rod holders. I bought these from my local bait shop, but even sometimes they don't even have them in stock. So it'd probably be something you're gonna have to look for online if you're trying to get this exact kind. But I think they're made by Eagle Claw. But they work great for me. I haven't lost a rod in them yet, you know, knock on wood. But they, they, they have served their purpose well, and, and they're very durable. Sometimes I do have fish that, you know, pull the rod so hard that these get bent in the ground. But I, I, I just uh, take them back and bend them right back into the position that they were when I get home. That should be about it for the backpack. And then you, you all have seen my cooler. I don't even want to bring that over here because it uh, smells terrible. It's, it's just a nasty old cooler that i use and i've been using it forever and that's just what i use to keep my bait in um, if you're trying to see what it looks like just check out any of my other videos it's probably in it as far as the fishing line i use i use 30 pound test mono i bought this big spool because that way i don't have to buy any more anytime soon i like the high vis stuff just because it helps out with seeing your line from a distance. For my leaders, I use a 50 pound mono. As far as my sinkers go, uh, there's all kinds of different sinkers that are out there that you can use. This is just what I do as I buy bulk sinkers off of uh, eBay. 
or sometimes I'll make them if I have lead laying around. I find that's the cheapest way to go about it is to get them in bulk. A lot of people ask me, you know, what, what size weight should I use? That's a very conditional kind of question. It, it really comes down to where you are fishing, what kind of bottom it is. And one thing that people need to understand as far as fishing in the big rivers like I do, those rivers are channelized, meaning that they're engineered to have all their current moving as swiftly as possible so that the river, you know, maintains its course for long periods of time. And this in turn, you know, makes it a very swift river and there's current everywhere. Every part of that river is moving. You know, some parts are moving not as fast as, as the next, but you're going to need, you know, substantial weight to get it down there and to get your bait stay put. If you're looking for a good rule of thumb to start out, you know, I use anywhere from three to eight ounces of weight typically on the rivers that I fish. You know, it's very conditional. You're going to have to experiment and figure out based on where you're fishing, how much weight you need to use. As far as hooks go, um, I just use, you know, 10 knot circle hooks. As far as the rig goes, I have, a, you know, a sinker slider above a swivel here. And then that is attached to the leader, which then gets the hook. So pretty simple rig. That's what I've always used. Um, I've got a video on it if you guys want to check out how to exactly set that up. But next we'll get into, I guess, the most popular question. <laughs> Rods and reels. So uh, this is a Tangling with Catfish 7 foot 6 rod. I just recently got both of these. They're one red and one blue, but they're both the same kind of rod. They're a good rod for, you know, catching catfish on them. But a lot of people ask me how I got this foam on here. You can just order them this way when you buy them on their website. You know, you can just, you can just say, I want foam on it in the box when you're checking out. I do plan on um, not using these rods too much longer because I do anticipate on, you know, starting to build my own rods. It's just kind of something I've always been wanting to do, just haven't done yet. So getting into the reels, the reels that I use are both Abu Garcia 7000s. Uh, one of them is just orange, the other one is black, and uh, there's no difference otherwise. I have them loaded up with the 30 pound test, obviously. I really like these reels because they got excellent drag control and they've, they're, they're, the main reason I spend the money here on these is just because they last me for a while, especially for the kind of uh, destructive, rugged fishing that I do. But yeah, so I, I really do like these reels, but again, I'm gonna say it again, it's, it's not essential that you have these specific kinds. In fact, bait casters can be very difficult to learn for a beginner as well. So keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out what works for you. Appreciate everybody for listening. And, uh, you know, like I said, anything you want to see, just leave in the comments below. And I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you very much.